Good evening, friends. Today we will see one important MCQ, which is mostly asked in INICT. Okay, if they ask any MCQs in HIV and associated disorders, mostly you can find some MCQs coming from the gastrointestinal symptoms or gastrointestinal super infections. Which can be seen in HIV. Okay, so keeping that in mind, we will see one interesting MCQ. Yeah. First question: A forty-year-old HIV patient came with complaints of persistent diarrhea. Okay, persistent diarrhea for at least three months. Even in HIV, diarrhea is a characteristic feature. But still, if it's persistent, one stool examination must be done. This stool was examined with a special stain. Okay, and in the stool examination, what was found? Lot of oozes were found, and the size of the oozes were found to be less than. Six micrometer. So, what is the importance of me knowing the size of the ooze here? That you should know. Okay. Then, drug of choice in this condition is what? What should be the drug of choice in this disorder? Okay. Yeah. First, a nitazoxanide. B, cotrimoxazole. C, metronidazole. Or D. Alpendazole. Okay, so how to approach this question? What should I have in background knowledge to approach this question? And see, you can see that in the picture they have given multiple cysts are found in that picture stool specimen, as well as you can find some pink colored cyst. Okay, some stain which is staining the cyst pink colored. So what is the stain? Obviously. You should guess that. Next, the size of cyst is less than six microns. Let's see what is the importance, actual importance in knowing the size as well as interpreting this image. Okay, some modified. So, if a cyst of stain pink in color, that too in HIV, mostly it is a modified acid fast stain. Okay, in acid fast stain, you might have studied apart from tuberculosis. You have mycobacterium leprosy, or you have these fastidious organisms like nocardia, actinomycosis, all those things. And apart from this, you would have studied all the oozes of this things. We are going to see this stain. We call it as Kinnion's acid fast stain. This is a modified acid fast stain that is used in stool samples. Okay, in HIV patients, why? So, if it is positive, three possibilities we can consider. What are the three possibilities in any patient, HIV patient with persistent diarrhea? You are doing kinin acid fasting. It's positive. Then it it suggests three possibilities. One is your cryptosporidiosis. Okay. Then the next is. Cyclospora, and the next is cystoisospora. Okay, these three things should keep in mind. Okay, first thing, cryptosporidiosis. Cryptosporidiosis means in this crypt. You can remember like crypt, very small. Okay, so crypt is the very smallest of the all in the three. Smallest of the all is at the crypt. Less than six micrometer. Okay, yeah. Next. So, with that, what treatment you can give? That you should know. Next, cyclospora. This cyclospora means this is also acid fast stain positive, as you see here also. Uh, in the within the cyst, pinkish color deposition is there. But if you see in deep, you can find some. Purplish nuclei also within it. Okay, multiple nuclei can be found within a pinkish cyst. 
this is cyclospora okay cyclospora it it has a characteristic feature of autofluorescence under microscopy it has a characteristic of autofluorescence and if you see the size of the cyst it is between 7 to 10 micrometer okay so in between 7 to 10 micrometer so obviously what is going to be the biggest of the biggest cyst it is nothing but it is cysto isospora in cysto isospora it is the biggest of the all the three cyst okay and if you see the size of the cyst if you see it is going to be 25 to 40 micrometer okay and how can i remember all these things the first say this cysto isospora iso means isomer isomer means what if you take uh, the left part will be equal to the right part same thing is seen in the picture also it will have two identical nuclear material within the cyst can you see that two identical nuclear material isospora okay because it is, is usual for us to get confused between cysto isospora cyclospora and cryptospora okay so you can remember like crypt means the smallest of all less than 6 micrometer and isospora meaning isomer two identical cyst will be there so that means it has the maximum size 40 micrometer in between you can have this cycling in between you can have this cycling cyclospora so okay what is the use of me knowing all these things first you should know the drug of choice in these conditions first if you see if you find cryptospora the smallest of the cyst the drug of choice for the condition is nitazoxanide okay nitazoxanide is the drug of choice in case of cryptosporidiosis okay whereas if it is cyclospora or cystoisospora the drug of choice will be cotrimoxazole so can you understand the importance now actually in hiv patients they will be receiving cotrimoxazole as a prophylaxis itself so if they have persistent diarrhea mostly with that cotrimoxazole prophylaxis itself they might improve if it is cyclosporidios cyclospora or cystoisospora but if it is cryptosporidiosis the patients will have persistent diarrhea and your drug of choice will be nitazoxanide it is not cotrimoxazole this is most important so this carries the importance in this question so if you see in this question what you can see the question what have they asked they have given a 40 year old 40 year old hiv patient they have given and they have given persistent diarrhea for 3 months stool examination special stain which is nothing but kenyon's acid fast stain and they found oocyst size of the oocyst was less than 6 microns which means it's obviously the smallest of the cyst it is cryptosporidiosis drug of choice is nitazoxanide never forget this okay and other two if they give it will be cotrimoxazole so diarrhea in hiv is always a important question when it comes to your inct and also if you want to know some other thing other than this you can know other causes of infective diarrhea like you can know about this um, your uh, gyardia cyst gyardia is also an important cause of infective diarrhea in hiv patients so there it's different there it will be the prophozoites will be seen in the stools it will have that falling leaf motility all those things so there you you should do ga endoscopy and string test you should do you should aspirate and you should visualize in the microscope so we have learned today the infective cause of diarrhea which you should remember in case of exam in hiv patients cryptosporidiosis is the smallest cyst less than 6 micrometer drug of choice nitazoxanide cyclospora in between autofluorescence 7 to 10 micrometer drug of choice cotrimoxazole then cystoisospora the similarity largest of the cyst 25 to 40 micrometers drug of choice is cotrimoxazole that's all 
best training, peaceful environment, PG medical entrance exam preparation were my expectations. I got them at Speed Medical Village in Kanchipuram. Today, I am a PG topper. Speed Medical Village, a unique eco-friendly campus dedicated for PG preparation. Speed Medical Institute, a complete solution for medical education.